What's up everybody, my name is Aaron James Nahal with the Light Den Academy. In today's video, we're gonna talk about using our Nikon DSLRs and mirrorless cameras as webcams for live streaming. Let's go. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is to check and see if our cameras are compatible with three of the many ways that we can connect our Nikon cameras to our computers. And now the first way that we can do this is by using Nikon's free webcam utility software. There's only a select number of models that Nikon cameras can be used. I'm gonna put the full list of compatible cameras with the software down in the info below. All you have to do is go to Nikon's website, type in Nikon webcam utility, download it, install it, and then when you enter into OBS Studio, all you have to do is select for your video source, select Nikon webcam utility. And if your camera is plugged in, turned on, set to live view mode, then your camera should automatically pop up on OBS streams. All right, so the second way that we can connect our Nikon cameras to our PCs is by using software called the Sparko Cam. And now I've been using the Sparko Cam for about three years now with my Nikon D4S, this big old flagship of a camera. Now, the thing about the Sparko Cam is that you can use a lot of cameras with it. Anything from the D5100 up all the way to the Z7, you're good to go. It costs about $50 for the license. And then all you do is just plug your camera in with the USB and you're good to go. Now the thing about using Sparkle Cam with the D4S is that when I would plug it in and Sparkle Cam would engage, the live view would turn off but the but the video would be going. Every 30 minutes there'd be like a little reset, a little lag that would happen every time there was that reset. And so I couldn't figure out how to turn that off. This is just how this software works. And so again, I've had no problems with the Sparkle Cam software. 50 bucks registration. All you have to do is download the software, plug it in with your USB cord, and you are good to go. No capture card, no any other peripheral. Now the third way we can connect our cameras up to our PC is by using a capture card. If you are into live streaming or if you watch Twitch, I'm sure you've heard of the company Elgato. They've got a wonderful capture card called the Camera Link or the Cam Link 4K. It's about $129 on the website. I actually bought the Aver Media Extreme Cap UVC capture card off BNH Photo for about $127. It has performed like a champ. You plug it into the HDMI in, it's got USB-C out to the PC. The picture quality is pretty great as you guys can see. The capture card is the most expensive route and one that I highly recommend if you're looking for the most high quality production. All right, using the Sparkle Cam is cheaper and easier. You don't have to wait for a capture card to come in. But when I am full screen on my live stream when I was using the Sparkle Cam, you could see little artifacts. It was a little blurry on the picture, but with this capture card, the Aver Media, guys, the picture quality is superb. And especially if you have one of these high quality cameras like the D4S, the Z6, the Z50, the D850, guys, you're gonna want the best looking quality picture. Now, the thing about the capture card is that it's compatible with a lot of different cameras, all right? Not just the Nikon, you got Panasonic, you've got GoPro, you've got Fujifilm, Nikon, all right? So the Cam Link gives you a lot of options to connect different kinds of cameras, which could be good in the long run. If you get a hold of another camera make or something like that, then you can use that as a second camera or whatnot. You just connect it with the, the mini HDMI out or the micro HDMI out on your camera to the capture card and then plugs in to the PC. Then you're gonna go into your OBS. You're gonna go in and you're gonna select the Aver Media Capture Cap UVC card and it's gonna pull up the video source right away. Now those are the three ways that I know of connecting your Nikon camera to your PC. In fact, Nikon actually also advertises those ways in order to connect the cameras to the PC. So check the compatibility of your camera, make sure that you can connect up to it. Right now I've got the D4S here, I've got the Z50, and I've also got the Z6 that I'm recording with right now. So I'm gonna talk about these cameras and the ways that I'm able to connect them for my live stream and and the solutions because I'm sure you guys have questions as far as battery life, as far as dummy batteries, as far as um, how do you keep your live view from shutting off on you. Now let's talk about the Nikon D4S. This was Nikon's flagship camera about four to five years ago. Talk about an expensive webcam. Well, this was all I had. I connected this through Sparkle Cam, and then I would use the camera's battery to live stream with. And this would last about two to three hours. I actually 
bought a second battery so that when one would die I would have to switch it out midstream but you know that was all I had once I started streaming on twitch then I invested in the EP6 now the EP6 is Nikon's dummy battery for the EN EL18 battery so I got the dummy battery this alone costed 140 on Amazon it's listed at $202 on Nikon's website the AC adapter comes separately all right so the ac adapter is also listed on nikon's website that goes for about 128 bucks on amazon i ended up buying a third party cord for about 30. the first one died on me the second one has been going good for about the last seven months so for me it was a big investment because I stream all the time now. The second thing about live streaming with these Nikon DSLRs is that you're gonna have to change the standby time, all right? So all you have to do is turn your camera on, go to menu, all right? Then you're gonna go to something called the custom setting menu, all right? Go ahead and press enter and go to C. And then you're gonna go down to monitor off delay. I know some cameras it's called different things all right but for the defrost it's the monitor off delay go ahead and press enter and then you're gonna go all the way down to live view go ahead and press enter on live view and then you're gonna scroll all the way down to no limit once it's on no limit you're good to go the Nikon Z50 is Nikon's entry-level mirrorless camera all right this is a creatives dream camera if you're looking to use the Nikon Z50 as a live stream cam then I would highly recommend you buying a second battery because there are no dummy batteries for this right Nikon came out with a brand new battery called the ENEL 25 battery pack okay now this camera does have a little spot where it looks like you'll be able to fit an AC power adapter cord. They're probably planning that for the future. So if you have this camera and you're bummed out, don't worry, Nikon's probably gonna come out with a dummy battery for this. But right now you can still live stream with this camera, all right? Either using the SparkleSoft webcam software, right? Using the micro USB or use the micro HDMI plugin. This is the Nikon Z6, one of Nikon's full frame mirrorless cameras. I just got it from them a couple days ago. I've been playing with it, testing out the photos and the video. I was really interested in seeing on how I might use this as a webcam, especially since it's got that really great autofocus system for the face and the eyes. Um, as you saw a bit ago, I was using the Z6 for this video, and I think the focus was tack sharp. With the D4S, I've got to leave it on um, a manual, and I've got to set the focus plane right here. I might be in and out of focus, but um, that's what's so great about these mirrorless cameras, especially if you're gonna live stream. This thing's gonna keep you in focus the whole time. This one and the Z50. Now, the thing about the Z6 is that it does have a dummy battery, all right? This is the ENEL15 battery, and they have the dummy batteries for this. You can buy it off of Nikon right now for about 56 bucks. You can buy the power adapter for 118. If you need that unlimited supply of power, it is very worth it to buy the dummy battery and the AC power adapter. I can't stress it enough. This is the Z6. I showed you the Z50 and the D4S. Now, again, to make sure that the display doesn't turn off on you when you're using a capture card, you're gonna go to menu. You're gonna go all the way down to custom setting menu. You're gonna go to timers, which is that letter C, and then go to power off delay. Scroll all the way down to standby timer and go all the way down to no limit. Once you've set it at no limit, you are good to go. Okay, well, I've showed you the cameras. I showed you the software. I hope that this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please let me know in the comments below. And if you have any questions, consider connecting with us on Twitch, all right? Twitch.tv slash TLD Academy. I know Twitch is all about gaming, yada, yada, but there is a photography community on Twitch that is growing like crazy. And the Light Den Academy is one of those communities. I wanna invite you guys to connect with us, please. Uh, we are on Instagram, we are on Twitter. Check out our Discord. We've got weekly photo contests as well as giveaways. Um, on October 30th, we just gave away the Nikon Z50. And at the end of this month of November, we're gonna be giving away the Nikon Z6 so you don't want to miss out on that I want to invite you guys to connect with us my name is Aaron James Nehara with the Light Down Academy please subscribe to this channel like this video and I'll see you guys later Aloha